Hey, how's it going guys? Phil here, and I'm going to show you how you can set up your iPhone or iPad as a backup remote for your Apple TV. Now, the reason I say backup remote is because you need to already have a working remote control in order to do this, whether it's your original Apple TV remote, a paired Bluetooth keyboard or other device, or a replacement universal remote, because you're going to need to enter a code into the Apple TV settings. If you don't have any of these, check out my video on how to connect a Bluetooth keyboard to your Apple TV without a remote. Or pick up a compatible replacement remote for about $10 on Amazon. I'll put a link to the replacement remote that I'm using in the description below. First, go to the Apple TV's settings. Select General, then Remotes, then Remote App to turn on home sharing if you haven't already. You'll need to log in with your Apple ID account. Next, download and install the Apple TV Remote app from the App Store onto your iPhone or iPad. Then, in the app, find and connect to the Apple TV you want to control, ensuring your iPhone or iPad and the Apple TV are on the same Wi-Fi network. The app will prompt you to enter a four-digit code into the Apple TV. Back on your Apple TV, in the Remotes menu, select the device you're trying to pair and enter the code. When successfully linked, you'll see the link icon appear on the right next to the device. Now you can use your iPhone or iPad as a remote control over Wi-Fi. Just note that if you are missing the Apple TV remote, you won't be able to turn on the Apple TV with just the remote app. You'll have to unplug and plug the Apple TV back in to get it powered on. I hope you found this how-to video helpful. If you have any questions, you can ask me in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and join me next time.